Hey everybody, in this video, I'm going to give you some quick tips that you can use to walk up and down stairs without so much knee pain. Because knee pain when walking stairs is a really common problem and it can be corrected. I'm Dr. Todd Martin, creator of The Walking Code. Let's go ahead and get started. If you've watched other videos on going up and down stairs without knee pain, you'll frequently hear the idea that people are getting knee pain because they're using their quads in the front instead of their glutes in the back to walk upstairs. And the suggestion that I've seen in many videos is to correct this problem by leaning forward, getting your center of gravity over the standing leg, and then using your glutes to push up and walking upstairs in that manner. Now, I think most of us know that that is bad posture, and I would really prefer to help people walk up and down stairs without knee pain using the correct mechanics and not a quick gimmicky trick to try to do it, but that doesn't really teach you how to do it in the correct manner. So here is the issue going on when people are walking upstairs incorrectly. What's happening is not that the quads are being used incorrectly, it's that the wrong hip is being used to create the motion. When we place our foot on the stair, the first thing we need to do is use our glutes on the rear leg to push the body forward until the center of gravity is over the standing leg on the upper stair, and from this position we can push up. So we have to use the glutes on the rear leg until we get to a certain position. So if we try to push up from this position, using our glutes, nothing is going to happen. We can't move back this way. So if we try to use our glutes to push up from this position, I'm gonna push down with my glutes and it's just going to push the body backwards. So that is why the idea is people are then using their quads to try to pull the body up instead of using the glutes because the wrong timing is being used. I can't use the glutes on my left leg here. I need to use my glutes on the rear leg to push the body forward and up until I get my center of gravity directly over the forward foot. And so now I can feel the complete flat foot on the ground, not just the heel on the ground get up to the complete flat-footed position, and then now I can use my glutes on the left leg to push straight up while keeping good posture. After I reach the standing position, now if I wanna walk forward, I change the glute action to hip flexor action to pull the body into a forward step. I just posted another video on pulling versus pushing, and this is a good example of the difference between pulling versus pushing that we can use on stairs that we don't see on level ground, because we don't have to push when we walk on level ground. When we're going upstairs, in order to use the glutes correctly, we also have to use our upper and lower waist muscles correctly. So I'm gonna show you here after I've placed my foot on the stair, I'm going to use my glutes on the left leg to push the body forward. And at the same time, I need to use the upper waist muscles on the right. And I'm gonna use my arm as a reflection of the upper waist rotation. They have to rotate forward on the right, and I have to use my lower abs on the right to tuck the pelvis on the right. And you see what happened as I, as I tuck the pelvis here, it causes the body to move forward and up. As I'm extending from the left glute, tucking the lower abs on the right and turning forward on the right, it pushes me forward and up. And it does not cause the knee to advance way far forward of the foot, which is one of the things that puts pressure into the kneecap and causes knee pain. I'm going forward and up because of the proper use of the core. So you can see my knee is lined up directly over the toes, not past the toes. 
No offense to the knee over toes guy. It's not incorrect if you want to exercise to get your knees over your toes, but you do not need to get your knees past the toes when you're going upstairs. It is unnecessary. We just move forward and up to this position. Now my center of gravity is perfectly positioned. My foot is in a flat position with my weight evenly distributed. Now I can use the glutes on the right leg to push up to this position. Then I have to use my lower abs on the left to tuck, and that's going to bring the flat of the foot into position on the stair. Some people may be using the hip incorrectly in this position also by trying to use the hip flexors to place the foot. I can't use the hip flexors to bring the foot up onto the step. Otherwise, you're gonna see that my foot is just gonna run into the stairs. So I'm not pulling forward with the hip flexors here. I'm using the lower abs to tuck under and that places the flat of the foot. And then we're extending from now my right glute, turning forward on the left and tucking on the left to bring the body forward and up without the knee moving too far forward. From this position, now I can push up with the glutes and then now I can pull forward into a normal step. If you wanna walk downstairs without knee pain, you also need to use your glutes correctly and on the right side or the correct side. Move to this position ready to lower the swing leg. We don't want to try to use the glutes on the left, the standing leg, to slowly lower the body down in this fashion. This is very awkward and does not get the body into the right position. That's gonna cause stress on your knee. When you get into this position, we need to use the glutes on the swing leg to push down, placing the ball of the foot onto the stair. This is just like you would be riding a bike when you push down with the foot, or if you're sprinting, it's the same push that happens with a four foot strike sprint. We're pushing down, landing on the ball of the foot. And this should be a nice balanced position here. I can support myself quite nicely. I'm extending my glute on the right, and I have my root or tuck on the right, and I have my upper waist turning forward on the right. That's the action of the push down to place on the step. This should happen in a very controlled fashion. I'm not having to exert too much force on the left side because all of the core is active on the right side. Now I pull up with the hip flexors on the left and that lowers the heel onto the step. Once I reach this position, again, I'm going to push down in a controlled fashion, placing on the ball. Then I pull up with the hip flexors on the right to bring me into this position. Now I can use my hip flexors on the left to pull forward into a normal gait. If you practice these techniques, you're gonna be able to walk up and down stairs with proper posture and reduce or eliminate your knee pain. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to click the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber, and drop me a comment. Let me know how you like these videos, why you came to this channel, and our researching walking technique, and what other content can I produce for you to help you walk more fluidly, walk with more confidence, and walk with lower impact on your joints. Have a great day.